2 Corinthians 11, 14, says that our enemy disguises himself, listen to this, like an angel of light. Y'all, he does not come to us in a red jumpsuit with a pitchfork and say, hey, it's me. Mm -mm. He disguises himself so closely to light. He wants what he is telling you to be so close to God's will for your life that you have a hard time telling the two apart. He wants that, pers that person that he brings into your life, he wants that person and, and what they have to offer you to be so similar, I mean so close to what God says is right, that unless you have an authenticating light, unless you have an objective standard by which you can run that suggestion, run that person, run that habit, run that opportunity underneath, you will never be able to tell with your physical eyes. I'll never be able to tell with my physical ears whether or not this is truth or it's just just the enemy disguising himself as an angel of life and as truth in my experience. Spurgeon said this way, said it this way. I love it so much. He said, Lord, help us not only to be able to discern the difference between right and wrong, but please help us to be able to discern the difference between right and almost right. That's what we need to know. We need a light that will help us to see clearly the truth as it is meant to be seen. We live in a world of relativity. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but everybody's got their own truth. <laughs> Everybody has their own light. Everybody has their own perspective. Everybody has decided that they're going to be swayed depending upon their political persuasion or depending upon how they feel in the moment. Everybody has given each other license to have their own truth. But as women who gird themselves in truth, it means that you are choosing as a lifestyle to uphold, to encourage, to support, to affirm God's standard as the standard for your life, as the standard for living.